where we are and the beach is just up there over the road and when we used to come this was surrounded by farm fields now it's a housing estate but the uh, pictures are nice we're just inside the gate here Better go and help him level up, otherwise he'll get stressed. <laughs> They're nice little hedged sites, and we've got water and electric. Now I'm going to do a little bit of directing for Captain Pete. Landing manoeuvres. Yeah. Touch your toes. Oh, so this is a sister. Hello. <laughs> not, not Evelyn or oh, Eve? Does it? Uh, that's your telling off name, probably. Is it yeah, Evelyn? Evelyn. Yeah. yeah, like Francis. Oh, hello. Evelyn in, in America. And Roger. Hi. <laughs> and they've been. They're here from America, but they've been on a jolly to France mm -hmm. for a bit, and then they're in Suffolk for a few days, and then what back to Hertfordshire. And then London for a few days. And then London yeah. and then the end. heading off. Yeah. 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 What part of France do you, do you go to? We were south. We went to Nice. Nice. Um, yeah. Walked nice. off from there. Mm -hmm. um, we had th three nights in uh, Joanne Le Pair. Um, four nights was it in. Uh, four nights You're in still here, but I feel French. Yeah. yeah. On our own. Mm -hmm. That part. Oh, did we you? We met friends in Joanne Le Pair. And then. Uh, you had a few nights on your own. Mm. It was lovely. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, we don't actually mind being on our own sometimes, do we? Got yeah. used to it after the last year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Covid. Yeah. You were usually upstairs on the computer. Hello. 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 Someone bogging us. <laughs> Who are you waving at? Someone more was walking by again. <laughs> We got um I'll tell you, I'll turn this off and then I'll tell you what. Some of the pictures are like a concrete base and then an astroturf bit on the side for your awning. But we're just on a grass pitch. Which we don't mind, but they're all enclosed by these edges so it makes you nice and secluded we haven't tried out the proper awning yet but we're only here for two nights so we didn't want to fall out in front of the family <laughs> unless we have a, a barn raising tomorrow or a uh, Oh my goodness, I can't think what they're called now. Awning. An awning raising. But then that would just be four of us that don't know what we're doing. So perhaps not. <laughs> Peter got his camera to take some stills up at the Already. beach. Some lovely pictures down there. Tomorrow we'll go and have a walk down there because I want to show you where my dad had his first ever caravan. Yeah, I've got to find out where to empty the elf sand down there. Yeah, 
the facilities are shut, but there is a, a drain, I do believe, for emptying the, the nasties. Alright, we're going for a little stroll now, so I'll put you back on when there's something interesting. Right, Peter's walking over to the shell to uh, get a closer shot with his camera. It's actually not cold tonight. Still, we drove past here today and that was packed as car park. Plenty of people walking about. I don't think you can see in the distance the house in the clouds and the size will be power station. over there could get nearer but got to scrunch over all these pebbles used to spend hours down here as a child loved it yeah happy memories Right, down towards that way, you have Thoughtness. Uh, I'm not sure on the dates, but they're sort of mock Tudor houses and they were built by, I believe, the Ogilvy family as a holiday centre. And my dad was from Leyston, which is only about a few miles away. And so after living in Welling Garden City and working, we used to come there for our holidays up by um, where the windmill and the house and the clouds are in a place called the Uplands. And as I said on the way through, spent many an hour on the mere, on a boat, and also on the weed cutter. Because as my dad came from this area, he still knew people here when we came for holidays and we still had relatives in Leyston. And then this way, we're going to walk into Albra. Unfortunately, it's gone overcast now, so I'll have to try and do a bit more filming and a bit more photography tomorrow if this looks too dull when I uh, edit it is a white lion hotel been in there for a meal a couple of times very nice <coughs> and then we're coming up on the moot hall oh I was playing bool
what you get on the sergeant video as well. We're on the second bit of the halfway car park. It's a lovely building. I do believe that Queen Elizabeth I was kept prisoner here for a while. I'd have to look it up because I'm not really sure. I'll tell you what, it's overcast but it's blooming warm. Right, coming up on the lifeboat station now. Ooh. That window in that gate, Pete. Yeah.
Go on, that breath in my back, it's killing me. This wasn't here when I was a child either, so although it's not brand new, it's new to me. Well, I have seen it before, but what I mean is, it was a little small shed in my day. They just used to roll a lifeboat out, but Carnival Day, they made a big thing of it so you could watch. It was good, interesting. Due to COVID, they don't haven't had any carnivals for a couple of years, and it's normally uh, the weekendish before bank holiday, and it's on the Monday. That's a good day out if you can get parked. <sighs> Peter crunching across the stones. Coloured places along here. We're just going to go past a place that we came to for Boxing Day a couple, a good few years ago now, say five or six when my sister and her family and some friends were here stopping at over for Christmas Well, I'll have to go that far. <laughs> Just want to sit for a minute. Okay. I'm not sure where it is now. It's just along there somewhere. 